So the third factor affecting our young people is technology. For the first time in history we have young people that have grown up with technology from the time that they were very small. Um, neuroscientists are telling us now that uh, we are discovering huge technology addictions due to the effect that screens have on our brains. Um, as we observe screens we receive dopamine into our brains which gives us a feel good feeling and that's leading to a lot of young people that are addicted to technology. So how do you know if uh, your young person is addicted to technology? Uh, one of the ways to find out is to take technology away from them. And uh, the way that they respond and react will tell you how deep the, and entrenched the addiction is. If there's outbursts of anger and rage, uh, then there's probably an addiction. And this is serious because addiction to technology can lead to uh, low emotional intelligence, low empathy, um, depression long term. And uh, we as need, parents need to be aware of uh, the amount of technology that our young people are taking in. Another result of uh, technology addiction is the feeling of overwhelmedness and stress and anxiety. Uh, there's so much information that's coming towards our young people and they don't have really time to process the information that they're receiving um, and they also feel like they're missing out because they see their friends around the world doing different things and uh, this can cause a lot of stress and anxiety in their lives. So what are the three things that we as parents can do to help our young people uh, with technology? The first thing that I would suggest is to let your young people know that technology is a privilege. It's a privilege to have an Xbox, it's a privilege to have a smartphone or an iPad and time behind those screens is a privilege and, and not a right. And uh, we need to monitor the amount of time that our young people are sitting behind the screens. The second thing that we need to do with our children is build deep relational connections. And uh, we do that not just by sitting around a movie, watching a movie together, we can do that as well. But we need to create time where we talk around the table, where we find out how our children are doing, where we ask them how they are processing things at school, and we connect emotionally with them. It's so important that we teach them these skills of emotional and relational connection with us. Thirdly, what we can do as parents is we can teach our children to have a lot of fun outside of just sitting in front of a screen. Uh, whether that's doing something together as a family, uh, whether it's going outdoors, whether it's um, walking on the beach, but just saying, you know what guys, there's a lot more that we can do than just sitting behind screens addicted to technology. So I want to encourage you as parents, um, make note of how much time your children are spending behind the screens make note of how your relational emotional connections are with them and find alternative activities for them to engage in